there are the terms time distance and speed now the time can be expressed in terms of hours in terms of minute or in terms of second okay so these are the units which are the time can be mentioned the similar way distance the distance can be <laughs> mentioned in terms of kilometer or in terms of meters okay these are the two <laughs> units very frequently used next speed at what speed there is a moment of a person or an object so that can be an kilometer per hour this many kilometer in one hour or it can also be meter per second that means the object moves this many meters in one second so the unit for speed is kilometer per hour or meter per second okay so coming to the these three terms distance speed and time these are the formulas the basic formula for time and distance that distance is equal to speed into time speed is equal to distance by time and uh, time is equal to distance by speed so i request you to note down this formula next uh, let's take some basic question before we uh, step into the main stream of the problems now it says the speed is 50 km per hour time is 6 hours what's the distance so what is the distance formula first one <coughs> i need to find out the distance and the distance is equal to speed into time okay so what is speed 50 km per hour and time 6 hours so replace the values with formula say so speed is 50 km 54 km per hour and uh, time is 6 hours so therefore 6424 carry 2 and 6530 and 32 so 324 km is the distance okay the fifth one i need to find out the speed when i have time which is 18 hours and distance which is 540 km okay what is a, a speed formula fifth one the speed is equal to distance by time the distance is given to us which is 540 km time which is 18 hours so cancel cancel this two you get the speed in kilometer per hour that is 18 354 that means 30 30 km per hour is the speed okay fine so these are the basic operation that you have out of these three uh, distance time and speed out of these three any two is there you can find out the fourth one by simply using the basic formula of time and distance okay now this is the final relation uh, the left hand side you can see it's a directly proportionate right hand side inversely proportionate okay what are directly proportionate time and distance they are directly proportionate speed and distance they are directly proportionate so you can see here the distance and time and distance and speed they are directly proportionate and coming to speed and time speed and time are inversely proportional you can see here the speed is inversely proportional to time and time is inversely proportional to speed so i request you to note down the relation <laughs>